So this woman has twins, Juan and Amal, but she only keeps a picture of Juan in her wallet. And when she was asked about that, she said, well, you've seen Juan, you've seen Amal. <laughs> it's the way you say it, really. Thanks, Chris, for submitting that joke. It did make me crack up. I, I was close to uh, spitting my coffee when I read that. So, um, yeah, it was a good one. Anyway, good morning. Let's go. I just dropped my son at school and I'm about to go to the gym now. So let's have a little chat. Oh, before I start driving, uh, thanks so much for all of you who commented already in my episode one of this. I did enjoy doing this. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. And even just today, I was considering not doing it because I don't know, excuses, right? But like going to the gym, we shouldn't really make ex excuses for it. So here we are. So I'm gonna say thanks to Chris, Mike, Lee, Mr. Ortmeyer, might be Ortmeyer, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Mary, Jan Scott, or Jan Scott actually, uh, Phil, Lewis, Don, Chickster, Almir, who was another content creator, and so many others who left commenters, right, commenters, uh, who left comments already in the previous video. So thanks so much for, for that. And yeah, we'll keep going with this. It won't be as long as last time. Someone said I look like J Jason Seagal or Jason Segal. I love that. Uh, I've heard that so many times, but I take it as a compliment because it's much more successful and, and better looking than I am. So sometimes people say uh, that I look like the Hulk guy, you know, the Mark Ruffalo, <laughs> which is which is hilarious as well, because he's again, more way better looking than I am. No, I, th I think that's funny. Right, let's start driving. What are we gonna talk about today? Trying something new today. There's a camera outside of the car. Hopefully it won't fall off. Should give us a nice visual <laughs> rather than just me talking inside the car. I love Fridays. Fridays are always, not always, but I'd say 90% of the time, Fridays are days when I have a lot more control. I try to clear my desk of work, you know, by Thursday. So I've only usually get like one meeting, maybe two meetings on a Friday. And they're usually meetings that I run. So they're, you know, I try to keep it as low profile as possible on, on a Friday. I've got a lot of time today to plan the next video, edit, uh, I've uploaded yesterday on the Brazilian channel, which was exciting. It's always fun uploading a video. It doesn't matter how well it does. As a creator, um, it's always a buzz when you upload a video. It's even better when the video does well, but you know, when, um, when it doesn't, you still get a little buzz of, you know, you created something and you've put it out there, you know, for the world to see. Sometimes it can be slow, some creators grow ridiculously fast and I'm I'm seeing that with myself you know in two different channels growing at very different speeds but it's, it's just exciting to do so that that happened yesterday and today I'm hoping to get as much as my next video done in the gym now I'm gonna record some of the bits for the next video and it's a beautiful day today today it's it doesn't look like it's gonna change at all not a single cloud in the sky well it's a few but um, yeah, it should be a nice, a nice day to record. Winter is great as well because there's not a lot of wind. Usually, you know, what I struggle with, which is why I got this microphone, uh, is wind noise, um, you know, recording outside. It's only seven degrees Celsius. Um, I don't know what that means in Fahrenheit, but it's not that cold. I mean, I'm layered up <laughs> three, three jackets here, but it's not actually that cold. Last time I was at the gym on Wednesday, um, I couldn't run outside. It was, you know, really rainy. So today we're going to run outside, which is great. Uh, it's only a 5K run, nothing crazy, sometimes 6K. Just keeps me going, uh, fitness-wise. <laughs> uh, Jason Sigal. I actually like, uh, he did something on Disney, I think. No, was it Apple TV? It might have been Apple TV with um, Han Solo. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. I should have brought the drone. You know, I, I, that's one of the things that I really regret not thinking about, you know, until this last minute is getting aerial shots of stuff. You know, I've got two drones now and they're fantastic. They're so light, they're 250 grams. So, and they're small, so they just could live in the bag. And I don't know why 
I never think of that because today would have been a great opportunity to just you know throw it up in the air have it follow me for a bit I do have that footage anyway from from the previous video but I don't know I like I like using the gear so I should have I should have brought it with me last time we spoke I said we were gonna do like a, a regular intro so I think you know opening with that joke I think it's fun so please submit your your intro suggestion or or a joke and I'll try and improve the way I say it because I'm just I've got this monotone you know I don't really have a, a very especially in, in, in English I'm gonna practice that I thought of signing up to things like um, something called the Toastmasters I think where they teach you how to enunciate your words and speak properly <laughs> because English is not my my first language even though I've been here 20 years and I picked up a lot of the intricacies of the language but there's so much that I still need to learn and when I speak in my own language I I notice the difference of how how I can kind of tell us tell a better story sometimes and, and and I think that's actually helping as well with the Brazilian channel I do feel a little bit more comfortable even though I've got a script in the Brazilian channel as well I'm way more flexible in, in terms of following it you know I don't read as much of the script as I as I do in English. So yeah, learning to enunciate and and kind of be more uh, exciting, I think, <laughs> might help um, when I tell those jokes. <laughs> you won't see me doing stand-up comedy anytime soon, that's for sure. I'm gonna leave some weights and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm recording this bit after the fact because the wind noise was just crazy. So uh, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that I was really pleased with my 5K result today. I don't know what it was, but I managed to get not sub 30 minutes, but just 30 minutes on the money. And considering I stopped for about a minute to record some clips for this video, um, I'm pretty pleased. I'm celebrating this. So uh, <laughs> what I was trying to say here is I've got to find a way to celebrate it, which I will let you know in a minute. Oh, and I forgot to mention that um, the goal for this year was to get my 5k time to sub 30 minutes. I can maybe aim for sub 25 minutes next year, uh, but we'll see how we go with that. So here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone, uh, so to speak. I like doing that because time is so limiting, right? Since, I don't know, April, May this year, uh, I had this idea of you know donating some of my gear that I don't use anymore. But I don't want to just give it like a, you know, do a giveaway. I've done those before and, you know, sometimes it, you know, it works out really well and, and, and I feel that I've done something uh, good. Uh, but I just wanted to help somebody who actually needs uh, a computer or some bit of equipment to, to help in their studies. And I think helping like a young, you know, teenager or whatever, someone who is a student um, who can't afford um, equipment to, to study you know, or, or do some content creation maybe uh, so I want I want to help somebody so my ask really and I've, I've gone through a few people already <laughs> I've gone through big uh, corporations uh, I won't mention their names here but I'm, I've gone to a few brands uh, who really couldn't help in any meaningful way and I'm, I'm not asking them to actually provide the gear I want to give my gear but I just want to you know some help with software and licensing and things like that but anyway my ask for you is um, if you know someone who who's a young student um, who needs a computer or you know some cameras nothing fancy or anything it's just equipment to, to get them started really um, I'm donating well, at least one Mac mini there's a, a couple of 4k uh, uh, like GoPro type cameras so action cameras and and a few few gimbals and things like that so i want to it's not a lot but but i want to make it meaningful if you know what i mean so if you know someone uh who, who who could do with that the only thing is they need to be in the uk and i want to make this a bit of a series as well to make it i don't know once a quarter i'll do that because there'll be more equipment that is either given to me or sent to me that i don't really get to use after the, after a review so rather than selling it or sending it back or whatever, I want to do it 
you know, in a way, obviously with permission from the brands. But this equipment that I'm giving away now is actually my, my own equipment that I don't use anymore. When I said killing two birds, what I meant was there was a great suggestion in the previous lo-fi tech drive uh, that I should involve viewers in, in a more kind of uh, interactive way. So fantastic suggestion. I'll put the comment in here on the screen for you so you, so you can see what the suggestion was. But I think that's a great idea and I want to do that. Uh, I offered for you to be the, the first uh, guest. If someone comes up with a suggestion for me to donate that, uh, that equipment, I can then use that opportunity to, to have that guest, you know, be with me for, for a while and, and we can record something together. Even if it's remote, it doesn't matter. For the donation, I need, I need it to be anywhere in the UK. I'm happy to, to travel to. Um, and ideally, let's do that before Christmas as well, because, you know, that's a good, good time to do that. That person I'm donating the equipment to don't need to be in the video if they're not comfortable with that. But I want to tell that story. I want to tell, uh, you know, YouTube uh, in a video how, how they're going to use that computer or that equipment, uh, in what way that will help them. And I think that's the best way really to, to make it meaningful. Hopefully, you know, if this grows, then maybe brands can help me in future, right? To do something good like that. And uh, let's see where this goes. But let, we've got to start somewhere, right? That's the run done. So I'm, I'm happy with that 5K. Um, I used to do sub 25 minutes in my younger days, but I'm gonna get back there. Let's shake things up a little bit. <laughs> I'm feeling good after the session. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of, you know, spending hours and hours at the gym every week, but uh, I managed to get two sessions, two very decent sessions this week. Uh, two and a half, because I did a run on Monday, went to the gym on Wednesday, and that was a rainy one. So I'm pleased I went in there. And then today, really strong session as well. Ideally, you want to, you know, if you, if you listen to the, to the experts on this, right, you want to focus on muscle groups and stuff. I don't have that luxury. I can only do what I can do, right? Like an hour, maybe an hour and a half if, if I'm lucky. So I did a bit of cardio, which is the run I did. And then I did, a, I tried to focus on um, arms and, and chest, but I did legs as well today. So I'm feeling it, I'm definitely sore and <laughs> I'll be feeling it for the next couple of days, which is good because you know, the, at the weekend, I do a little bit of football in on Saturday mornings, uh, which is tomorrow, but I don't really, yeah, I don't really get to do a lot of exercising. So um, I'm glad I got that session in today and back on Monday for another, another, hopefully another strong session. So for that charity thing, I think, you know, what I was thinking on the drive here and I made a, a bit of a boo-boo here. I, <laughs> I kind of recorded about 15 minutes of the drive from the gym here uh, without audio. So um, this is definitely recording now. Anyway, for the charity kind of giveaway thingy. I just think it's a good idea to do that in that way. I follow a channel that, that does this, uh, you know, kind of a bit of a prank. He goes around and he cuts people's like headphones out and then he gives them a, a new one. I don't want to do a prank, right? <laughs> but uh, so don't feel pressured if you can't find someone to, you know, that I can help here in the UK. It's totally okay. Um, so yeah, don't feel pressured because my last resort would be to go and do something like this guy does, which is go, you know, he goes to like a public library somewhere. One, I feel, I feel a bit awkward doing that. Two, it's a bit dangerous. I am going to carry this kit in public and it's just, it's just weird. But that is going to be my last resort because I've tried everything, right? I've tried contacting brands. I've tried contact, I contacted churches. I contacted charity places and either they don't respond, which is like just straight rude, right? Or they're like, you know, put all sorts of barriers for me to, to kind of do this. And I'm like, I just want to help somebody, you know, just give me someone who I can come in and do like a short video on it and, and help them out a little bit. I'm going to do it is, you know, <laughs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way of doing it. Stay tuned for that. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, today I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a shorts video. I've actually recorded a few already from a batch recorded shorts. Shorts are useful, but they are annoying me now because YouTube stopped us using links on the shorts. Um, long story short, 
they are trying to keep people on the platform, right? So they're, they're not like, oh, that's a nice winter sun there. Uh, they're trying to make like, I don't know, compete with TikTok, which I don't think is good. I don't think it's good for many reasons, but the main reason as a creator is I used to use the, the shorts as a way of promoting the videos, the long form videos, but also as a way of, you know, another revenue stream. So I publish, you know, kind of a promoter, like I could do a video about this camera uh, in a short 30 seconds and then put a link in the, in the top comment or in, in the description. YouTube stopped that on the short, so I can't earn money through the shorts anymore, which is ridiculous. Hopefully I upload this uh, on the weekend, over the weekend, ideally today if I've got time, but I've got a meeting in a bit, so I've got to shave, <laughs> do that meeting, and then hopefully do some content creation, whatever. Th oh, and thanks so much again for, for watching this. Uh, there's no intention to make this, you know, like a viral video. Like I said, it's more about, you know, getting to know you, getting, getting you to see what it's like a little bit, um, my life during, you know, outside of the, the reviews. So uh, I hope you're enjoying it. See you soon. Okay, that was meant to happen.